I have to admit, I've never actually heard of Jose de Castro and I tried not to check him out before trying this pedal not out of like disrespect but I just thought it'd be more fun to experience the pedal with no preconceptions this could have been as mad as a metal zone or as low gain as a clon for all I knew and it turns out for me this is quite a low gain pedal unless you're stacking it on top of an already distorted or overdriven amp uh, in this video I'll be mostly using a clean sound and layering this pedal on top Firstly, thank you Joyo, Joyo, uh, for sending this to me. I really appreciate it. Uh, so it's a two button overdrive pedal. The left side turns off or on the overdrive sound and the right side controls the boost function. Either button works independently. So if you're playing with an already overdriven amp, you could just use the boost function if that's how you want to use it. The boost is before the overdrive section. So don't expect a huge boost in volume, more of a gain boost, more of a, a juicy feel. Juicy, that's right, juicy. So the overdrive side here has a simple EQ band, a two band EQ that controls the treble and the bass. Remember that this is an overdrive, not a preamp pedal. So it works in conjunction with your amps preamp section. So if you want to boost or cut the mids, for example, use your amps controls. And the other two controls on the overdrive section are the drive level and the volume level. So the amount of gain or distortion and how loud or quiet you'd like it. The boost section has a single control that is labeled simply boost. So how much extra volume do you want to pump into the overdrive? section or into your amps preamp. Each channel boost or overdrive has its own bright LED so you can clearly see what's turned on or off. It's also true bypass so won't affect your sound in a negative way when turned off or at least gives you the choice of using your own buffer or not. And lastly, just like all the R-series pedals from Joyo, Joyo, uh, it has these really cool lights on the bottom that turn on and light up your pedal boards whenever you turn the effects on. Or you can have them on all the time with this, it's got a dip switch on the bottom so you can adjust that. Or you can turn them off so they don't turn on at all. I don't know why you would do that. I love it. So now I'm going to play you some sounds. I'm not going to use any other pedals in the chain except an MXR carbon copy for a bit of delay and that'll be placed after the tornado. Also, please click the subscribe button. It makes a massive difference for me and helps me show more gear to you good people of YouTube. Thank you so much.
I think this is a great sound in overdrive, and it's not really what I would choose personally because 99% of the time I'm doing the high gain thing. But for what it's been designed for, it sounds amazing. It sounds organic and really lets the sound of you and your guitar shine through. It's built really well, just like all the Joyo R series pedals. I still wish that they hadn't used these fake chrome knobs as it kind of spoils the look a bit, but you could change those if it really bothers you. Oh yeah, they're about 75 pounds or 89 euros, which is a good price for what you get. It sounds good, it's well built, and it feels like it's gonna last. The lights are really cool too. I made a video for the Joyo Zombie 2, which you can find just here. I think paired with this pedal, you'd have a huge amount of tones covered. Check it out, I think you'll really like it. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Juicy.